Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. A pair of tight ends will be on the field today looking to do whatever it takes to give their team an advantage. It's the Jaguars going up against the Titans. And we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 11 matchup. It's the start of another week of NFL action, and that means it's Thursday night in the NFL here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for this important matchup late in the year. The playoff chase is on, and every game is an absolute must. Partner, how about it before kickoff? I think, Jim, during the year, you could get such differences in emotional levels for football team. One game means more for uh, one team than it does the other. We have two teams where everything is the same. It's all on the line, so emotionally and physically, they're going to be even. Now we're going to find out who can go out on the field and execute and give their team the best chance to win. Lee's going to be back deep here on the opening kick. Well, one of the glory teams of the AFC will be kicking the football to start this game. With that kick, we're underway. Lee's got it. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Bortles heading out now. He'll, of course, be leading this offense today. He's thrown 19 interceptions so far this season. Yeah, when you look at Blake Bortles, you know, listen, he has some presence on the field. If you see him in person, which we have, Jim, he is one big dude, and he plays big on the field also. In shotgun formation. Puts a hand. Oh, he made the catch. He caught it with one hand. Second down and 12. It's intercepted. He's brought down. Mariota's heading out now. He'll, of course, be leading this offense today. On the year, has completed over 60%. Jimmy got great experience in the University of Oregon playing the quarterback position. He has good size to succeed in the NFL. He can run. He's in great shape. And he's just a natural leader of the football team. Let's go. First down at the 46. Right, got it. On a pass that had some heat. Looking to go up top again on first down. Walker's got it. Tennessee is in the end zone for the touchdown. Driving extra point is good. Got a chance for a return. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Here's a look at the Jaguars' offense. Last week, they never turned the football over once. Take some chances to start moving this defense around and be more creative. He's got a chance to return this one. Games 17. The Titans know there's three parts to every football game. Offense. He's giving up the touchdown. Oh, you know the coaches are upset. My gosh, they ran some of the most elementary defenses that you can run. He's in the clear. The 20, the 10, and he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. The 
point after try is in the books. To return the kickoff. Lee's going to start his return. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Here's a look at the Titans defense stacks up this season. They're number one in the NFL in turnover differential. And that is as good as it gets when it comes to winning a category. The Jaguars have it at the 29. And they bring down the quarterback. And it's a three and out for the offense. We got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it. And so now they'll call on anger to punt the football. the 38 yard line sometimes it's better to be lucky than good the fumble play hard way to call them out there partner hey that's what i do I like to call them. here's the titans lineup they've had a hard time this year moving the football through the air here's the jaguars defensive lineup one of the absolute best in the league going against opposing quarterbacks ranking third in terms of yards allowed via the pass for the secondary. They'll go nickel. They need to get the playoff. Snap it out of the gun. Nicks with the reception. And Lee is brought down. Well, returning punts is a tough job. It's about a bit of a drought here offensively, having gone three straight possessions without a score. What do you think needs to be done to buck that trend here, partner? I'd say it's a little more than a drought. This is some awful offense, and there's many things you've got to do. You've got to tell your offensive line to pick things up. When the offensive line is aggressive, it gives all the start. Here we go now. Blue 45. Robinson's handed the football. And that's a safety. When you're backed up, the offensive line cannot miss their assignment. Set up return. Here he goes. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. This defense isn't careful. This game's going to be over in a hurry here, Phil. Well, I got some... Uh, Ideas for the defense. Don't sit back anymore. Send them off. Third down and three. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. That's a gain of 10. And not a favorable bounce this time as it's headed to the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Loss of three on the play. The first quarter is behind us, and we'll step aside as you watch the NFL on EA Sports. Snickers. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Lays out and makes the catch. He'll have a chance for a return. That picks up 11. Over 90 yards so far on the day. The Titans have stayed with the run game today, and it's been a big part of their game to get to the 34 for a first down. Walker's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Snap it at the 41. The reception by Harry Douglas. And he 
puts it through for three. They continue to put their stamp on the first half, adding a field goal here. Lee's going to test the coverage here. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. They got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. Cox is there to make the tackle. To get it done, that was a terrific throw up the field that time. The Jaguars have it at the 44. Morgan takes down the quarterback. Outside linebackers in the NFL, they are such tremendous athletes. They can do everything. How about that? Punt it away now. And the punt is kicked out of bounds. It's early, and it's been fun to watch. First down at the 32. Sankey's tackled down at the 43. You just can't hide his talent. There, there's a the way he's been running the football. Give the coaches a lot of credit right here. They're being very patient, staying with the running game, and the running back, boy, is he taking advantage of every opportunity. And a touchback. The Jaguars have struggled in pass protection. Bortles been under a lot of heat today, Phil. Well, seeing they are struggling with pass protection is an understatement. The offensive line, they're just having an awful day. Bortles going to take it from the gun. And it's complete to Julius Thomas. That's another reception. Get in the middle of the field. They can go down the middle. They can go outside. They can go short. They can go across. They can go out. Tough to cover the tight ends in this league now. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. Pretty can to make the catch. Not able to get it. But what a job in it. Blackman is going to pull in the bullet pass. Griffin's there to take it down. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 30. It's Lee. In on the hit, Jason McCourty. First down at the 15. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. AT to come. And the extra point. About to receive the kickoff just before halftime. Perhaps they can do something with it to increase their lead. Currently scores 19 to 7. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. And with that, we come to the end of the first half here off the banks of the St. John's River. We'll be back to Jacksonville for the start of the third quarter after this. Thanks, Jim. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Jaguars trail right now, but with another half to play, there's time to turn it around. The Titans came in prepared for this game, and it shows in the way they've played. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Jaguars taking control early in the first. Under pressure here, and the pass is picked off. Woodyard's reading the play and comes away with it, ending the drive. Offense on the field now after the INT. Walker is able to make the catch in traffic, and it ends up working for a touchdown. That puts them up by a touchdown. First and 10, it's Sankey who gets into open space, and this long run goes for a touchdown. 
that puts them on top by 14. Jaguars take over late in the second. The pride of UCF, Blake Bortles connecting on a pass into coverage. Staying late in the second, Blackman's found on the quick pass and catch, and this play goes for a score. The start of the second half. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates, and now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. And tremendous once again today. And look, let's look at this running back. He's got legs of steel. He can break tackles. He can run around you. That's why this running game is so good. Third and seven. Walker's got the catch and the first. One of the better talented tight ends in the NFL. Hurry to get the snap. Here's the handoff. Keeps his legs moving. And that's a gain of 10. This one. Second and two. And Titans are in for the score. Walker's second touchdown of the game. Tight ends are becoming a bigger and bigger part in the passing offense in the NFL. It leads to a touchdown this time. Nice job by the big guy just getting in position to make the catch. Dirt. An extra point is good. The Titans were very effective on that scoring drive. Uh, on that scoring drive. Lee's got it on the return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. To do it, I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Well, just think about what it takes. It takes a quarterback with a talented arm to make this type of throw, and it takes a talented receiver to make this catch. They do both, and it results in a nice touchdown. After. Inside of the uprights. The Titans. We'll be back to return the kick. Still have a sizable lead here in this one. Scores 26 to 14. The Titans are ready to take it to them. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. The Titans came out today, and it really looked like the running game would be big for them, but it's fallen off a bit. Sankey's had less space to maneuver on the 31-yard line. The Titans didn't have any trouble running the football last week, and the same's true today. Sankey's had nothing. Mariota's going to take the snap from the shotgun. The Titans get a first down. Second and six. To the ground. Picks up about five. Always down. Lee's not going to test the coverage here as he makes the fair catch. The man, you got to man up. Get up there tight and cover these guys close. First down at the 22. Intercepted. Well, it looked like an interception, but it has to be confirmed from upstairs first. They're taking another look. Well, that was an awesome play by the defense that time, getting the interception. Now they turn into receivers once they get the interception. Did he have possession of the football? We'll find out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they took a second look, but the play on the field will stay. He did rule up. Was he getting hit as he was trying to catch the football? Nice hit that time by the defender. 
We're heading into the fourth, and it looks like they've seized control of this game with that field goal. Lee's got a chance to return this one. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down at the 24. Connects with Thomas. That's reception number four for him. Down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. First down at the 20. Sankey's going to secure the handoff. And that's a gain of 13 within 50 yards. The Titans take it from the 38. Takes another handoff. Smith's good. Lee's going to take this one from the 26. That return's good for about five. Players took advantage of. And that's Woodyard in on the stop. One quarter to go, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Jaguars are still in possession as we get this final quarter on final quarter underway now with this snap. Alan Hearns with the grab. The Titans all season long have won the turnover battle, and today it's more of the same. And it's caught by Alan Hearns. Hearns have really been passing the ball well these past couple of weeks. Bortles been a three-step drop. Thomas got the catch and the first. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. It is right down the middle. Good job by the offense. Good job by the kicker. Takes off from the five. Spins out of the tackle. And he runs it out to about the 27. The Titans have it at the 29. It's Douglas. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. The Jaguars have counted on this defense to keep them in games this complete pass. The Titans snap it at the 41. And it's thrown over to Kendall Wright. Wright met at the 37. The Titans have actually been passing the football quite well today. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Titans defense come. Bortles standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. Wants to give it a go here. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. And a run back of about seven. The offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but hey, that was pretty easy. And there's right. Third, third down throw. It'll be a touchback. scores in the second half. You're just looking for some wires. Take it from the 38. Intercepted. Tackles made. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. And that field goal pretty well all day long and victory is in grasp.
Robinson's gonna drop to a knee. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Going for the home run. The Jaguars decide. Second and eight. Sankey's gonna take the handoff now. Gets about nine on the play. The red zone, can the defense show him something different here and keep him from scoring a touchdown? Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. And the kick is good for three. Phil, that's a field goal that all but clinches it. Yeah, it did, Jim. And listen to Acti ready to return the kickoff. Robinson's got it. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. He's going to try and return this one. Brought down at the 38. That return's good for about seven. No stop in this team. They mount another victory here today to keep the streak going. I think you said it right. Uh, there's no stopping him. It's going to be hard to stop him. I don't know how you're going to do it. Everything is going well. Good decisions by the coach, the quarterback, the defense. Everybody's playing well. Look out. For Phil Simmons.